Today we clarify whether protein shakes are necessary or completely useless. To answer that we have to take a closer look at the optimal protein intake. But why are proteins necessary at all? Along with carbohydrates and fats, proteins are referred to as macronutrients, molecules the body needs large amounts of. All enzymes in our body that perform vital functions such as repairing DNA damage or digesting food are nothing other than proteins. And also the antibodies essential for a vital immune system are proteins. Proteins are made up of amino acids and these tiny building blocks serve to synthesize new proteins. That's why we need to eat them. Okay, proteins are not only necessary for building up muscle, but they are also essential for much more than that. But how much protein do we actually need? The recommended dietary allowance of daily protein intake is around 0.8 grams per kilogram body weight. According to dietary guidelines of the USA and it's the same for Germany and many other countries. However, some people might need a bit more protein. Studies have shown that elder people aged 65 plus should have an increased protein intake due to muscle atrophy. Elder people lose muscle mass and therefore some papers recommend a daily protein intake of 1 to 1.2 gram protein per kilogram body weight. And not only older people, but also pregnant women or breastfeeding mothers have an increased need for protein. And there is another group with an increased demand. Athletes seem to profit from an increased protein intake as well, depending on the training volume. A paper of Wu from 2016 concludes that individuals with minimal physical activity should have a dietary protein intake of 1 gram per kilogram body weight. For people with moderate physical activity, it is recommended to take up 1.3 gram and athletes with intense physical activity should take up around 1.6 gram protein per kilogram body weight per day. And this paper is no exception. But why do we need protein shakes? Can't we just take up protein by food? 100 gram of chicken contain up to 25 gram of protein. For fish like salmon it's about 20 grams but there are also plant-based protein sources such as lentils with 25 grams of protein and for peanuts it's the same. If the protein demand can be satisfied just by food, supplements may not be needed. But for people with an increased demand, a protein shake may be a good and easy option to fill the gap. Now we know there is a minimal amount of protein we have to take up. But there is also an upper limit. Up to 2 gram of protein per kilogram body weight daily appears to be tolerated by healthy individuals. More than that is not recommended and can be harmful. For some other subgroups such as people with kidney disease for example, low protein diets are recommended. I'm finishing my shake now and hope you subscribe to the channel and like the video if it was helpful to you. See you soon.